So I've got it hooked up just like I said I would. Running off the power supply, 12, 12 and a half volts going to the caps. And it seems to be going really well. Jorge, I think I I think I, I hooked this up wrong and I think I burnt out this transistor, so I gotta replace it. Sorry about that, but I gotta use my my hack monster here. But let me take a reading of the caps. So I've got the cap hooked up and so far it is definitely rising, but these super caps take a long time to charge up. So I'm going to let this run for a little while. It seems to be doing okay. Yeah, there it goes. 1.14 volts. The uh, transistor is nice and cool. I built this, um, here, let me take this out of the stand. Sorry about that, guys. I built this Bedini coil. And I took some uh, inspiration from Sky Collection, Sky Collector, putting these little things on. Yeah, I think I burnt out. Yeah, I think I burnt out your um, the transistor here, so I'll, I'll replace it. I made the gap pretty wide because before. I had it closer and it was really, I mean, it was wanting to rip itself apart. So it didn't seem to make any sense. But this guy's working out really well. Something that I just threw together. But of course, my thanks go to Jorge at Sky Collector because he's the one that helped me to realize the error of my way. 1.26 volts on this super cap. Let's let it run for a while and see what happens. So something I just discovered about this um, potentiometer. Right now it's turned all the way up to its highest point. And you can hear the difference when I turn it down. When it's turned completely down though, it speeds up the charge to the super caps. And the all the components are still nice and cool. So I guess that's allowing more, more power to come through. Now I've got it turned all the way up. see it 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 takes longer it's it's noticeable by me not so much maybe here but here let me turn it back down again yeah it's definitely noticeable so these super caps can go to like 16 point something volts i'm only going to charge it up to 12 but as long as everything stays cool, including the coil, I'll leave it turned down. I always thought it was better to turn it up, but I guess that's what they mean by tuning. All right, still going strong. Eight volts, temperature, 78 degrees, which is just about what the ambient temperature is. Coil, 77, 78. The diodes, the same thing. Everything is staying nice. The uh, super caps are fine. This turned out to be a really good circuit. Even though it's freaking haphazardly. Everything's still nice and cool. 812. So while I was waiting, I wanted to see what one of these coils would do. Because I really can't tell where the start and where the finish um, 
wires, but I seem to have found it. Thank you, Sky. And it's working just fine. And again, I'm just jerry-rigging this just to see. Because I found a bunch of these coils. Those coils right there. Where is it? Yeah, that coil right there. I think I found it like in a fan. Let me stop it and show you. That one right there. Just curious to see how well it would work. Ciao. All right, last update for the day. I know I said that I would update you when it got to 12. It's 11.19. I got to walk my dog. So I don't want to leave this thing running even though I probably could. But I don't want it to get over 12 volts. It's staying nice and cool and I actually jacked it up to 14 volts. And so it is still staying pretty cool. Yeah, 80 degrees on the coil. 81 degrees on the transistor. Yeah, 80 degrees. And of course the the um, super caps are doing fine. All right, let me go walk the puppy.